Masechet Yomah, Daf 34. Uh, we're talking about the the order of uh, that Abaye uh, provides that we say in the morning of all the things that the Kohen does every morning, and we're explaining the reasons for each of them. And so we're up to the last line here, right after we put the limbs of the Korban Tamid Shel Shachad on the Mizbeach. Then we have going to have the, the the regular mincha that goes along with the tamid and the chavitin, which the kohen brings every day, and then the wine libation. So three items in a row here that are all going to go on to the mizbeach um, after the limbs. And then we're going to have musaf, uh, and then the frankincense, uh, which is on Shabbat only, uh, that comes with the, uh, the lechem apanim. And then the afternoon tamid is the last item. Okay, of course, there's other things that are done during the day, but... Um, uh, th- this is the, the list that focuses on the uh, Korban Tamid. And so we're up to here. Mincha la Chavitin. How come first they do Mincha and then Chavitin? Uh, so the, in other words, the first thing you do after the limbs, then you do the flower offering. Why is that? Well, it's right there. It's a Pasuk and Emor. Ola means the limbs of the animal, and mincha is the flower that comes with it. Good, that makes sense. Note, note the next words, zevach unsachim. We're going to need that in a, in a second. And then after you bring the mincha, you, you bring not the wine that comes with, uh, that comes with the korban tamid, but rather habitin, uh, the kohen's daily uh, special flower offering. And that goes before Nesachim. Why? Shum Mincha. Because, right, both, they're both flower offerings. The flower offering for the Tamid, the flower offering for the Kohen Gadol. So you bring that in the meantime. And then after that, you bring the Nesachim. Why? Unsachim lemusafin. Zevach, because the Pasuk says Zevach unsachim. The Pasuk I just quoted. So Zevach refers to the Korban. That's the Korban Tamid and uh, the limbs and all that. And then the sachim, the wine libations that come after. So that's going to come after the mincha because the mincha says, uh, right, we're basically following the order. Ola u mincha. And then while, while you did flower, do another flower offering. And then zebach with the tamid, nesachim. So nesachim comes later in the pasuk than mincha. And that's why it comes after the flower. All right. And now un nesachim le musafin. Uh, so the next thing is Musaf Zevach. I read that. Okay. Musafin the Bazichin. Tanya Bazichin min Musafin. Tana ehi. Okay. So in Abaye's list, you do Musaf first, and then you bring the, those two bowls of frankincense from the uh, Lechem Hapanim. So Musaf first, then Bazichin. We have another Braita that says Bazichin first, and then Musaf. So it's a Machloket Tanaim, right? Two Tanaitic sources. Uh, what did they actually do? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, you know, that, that maybe they did different times. Maybe they uh, did different things, or or uh, uh, or whatever, uh, something like that. Um, okay. Amar Abaye, Mister Bedakeman, the Amar Musafin, Kodmin la Bazichin. This was Abaye's list to begin with. So he says, my list makes sense, right? Why is it better to have the Musaf first? Love me, Amar Baboker Baboker Lagdim. Remember yesterday we had whole principle that when it said Baboker Baboker, that means earlier the better. Okay, this one doesn't say Baboker Baboker, but it's a different phrase. Hachaname Bayom Bayom Leacher. So Bayom would mean not Baboker, means later. So just like Baboker Baboker means earlier, the principles Bayom Bayom means later. Where does it say Bayom Bayom here? Bayom Hashabbat Bayom Hashabbat. Regarding the lechem uh, apanim, every you always you always have it there. Beyom hashabbat beyom. So that means it should be later. Therefore, Abaye says, put the musa first. Bazihin, the pasuk is pushing to to a later period. Okay, good. That makes sense. My tamad demand amar bazihin kod min musafin. Okay, now how about the other opinion that says bazihin um, first and then musafin? I thought you want bazihin to be later. He has a different way of learning it from Pasuk. Amar chuka, chuka me habitin. It says the word chuka regarding bazichin. The, and it also says the word chuka regarding habitin. Okay, so now when was the habitin? Let's look at our list. That was the Kohen's cake, right? And so therefore, since these are both say chuka, you should take the, the frankincense and put it earlier. Put it before Musaf. So it could be closer to Chavitin. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, if you're going to compare frankincense to the to the Chavitin, so put it all the way, even before even before the Nisachim, right? I mean, if that's what your principle is, so move it all the way over. That's going to be the Gemara's next question. So learn it totally and put them back to back. 
No, bayom bayom Even the second opinion who's against Abaye likes Abaye's bayom bayom and uses it to push it one forward. So you have Chuka Chuka pushes it all the way back. Uh, so the frankincense would be next to, next to Chavitin, but Bayom Bayom says oh, a little bit later, and that's why it's after the wine libation and before Musaf. Okay, just right. And so now the next, uh, um, okay, we finished the list. That's it. That's Abaye's list. Um, and uh, the next thing that, uh, uh, the last thing on Abaye's list is the Mincha, is the Korban Tamid Shel Ben Ha'arbaim. The Mishnah mentioned a rule about Mincha of Ben Ha'arbaim. It said, Ketoret, this is what the Mishnah, our Mishnah said, in the morning you do ketoret first and then the limbs of the tamid. In the afternoon, we do the limbs first and then the ketoret. Okay, so that's, that's what we're going to discuss now. What is the difference between the morning and the afternoon that we do this? Before we discuss that, notice, compare the list of the Mishnah. This is the, the, our Mishnah, and this is Abaye's list. So you have the blood, the blood of the Tamid. The next thing that should become is the lamps, right? Uh, the, the, the two lamps. Um, and this is not found here at all. Instead, it skips to Ketoret and then limbs. And remember also that this is the opinion of Abba Shaul, all right? Abaye says, Alibada Abba Shaul. Um, a few dabim ago, we saw that Rabbanan put the lamps after the ketoret, not before the ketoret. Okay, either way, um, our Mishnah skips the, the, the two, the two nerot altogether. So that's what we're going to solve, resolve first. Ketoret shoshachan manne, who is the, whose opinion is our Mishnah? Ida banan, ben dam le nerot mi ba'yale. You should have said that ketoret comes between the blood and the nerot, right? It's nerot, not, not before the, uh, um, uh, the, the, not before, right? It said, Ab Mishnah said, it comes between, between the blood and the limbs. No, it should be between the blood and the nerot, right? That would be the next thing. And so it can't be that. Uh, if it's a bashol, then should, you should have said ketoret comes between the nerot and ebarim. But you need the nerot in there one way or another. So whose whose opinion is Amishna? Oh, Leolam Rabbanan. It is in fact Rabbanan or Besidra la Kamaire. And Amishna is not giving you the full list of every item. It's skipping a little. Its main point is to tell you that these things are switched. Get toilet limbs, limbs get toilet in the afternoon. But you're right. You would have to put the uh, lamp in there. Okay, so it's not giving you the complete list. Fine. Now, why is there a difference between morning and afternoon? In the afternoon, we do the ketoret uh, between the limbs and the, and, the, and the wine libation. And I have no idea what's the source. Right, so this is the, the regarding the regular tamid. So do it like the morning and the nesech in the morning. So that's what we're going to learn from. Like the morning and like kinisko in the morning. So ketoret comes before nesachim. So look at our chart in the morning. We have ketoret before the libations. So to an afternoon, ketoret will come before libations. Well, that's true. It comes before libations. That still doesn't address our question of how come the change in the limbs. That's what we're going to ask about next. However, now you might have thought to learn from that pasuk that ketoret comes before limbs in the morning. Maybe it should come before limbs in the afternoon also. Would you, should you think that? The Basuk says specifically, what is it comparing the afternoon to the morning? This is the afternoon will be So follow the order for the mincha, meaning the flower and the, the flower offerings and the, and the wine that comes after that, and not like the limbs. And therefore, it does go in the same order regarding flower that, and libations. That will be at the end. But it's not like it regarding the limbs. Otherwise, it would have said ke'ebre haboker. And so, as we see, that the afternoon is in fact different. Okay, good. Um, now, uh, the next part is going to be uh, two opinions that agree in substance. They're just disagreeing on how you learn it. Uh, the question is regarding the. Um, I'll, let me show you the pesukim first. 
Okay, here's a Pesukim in that, that we say every day regarding the uh, Korban Tamid. Um, Pasuk 4 uh, says, Etakebes, this is all in, uh, in Pinchas, in uh, Bemidbar uh, uh, 28. Uh, Pasuk 4 says, Etakebes achat ase baboker, Etakebes ashanit ase ben harbaim. That's the morning Tamid and the afternoon Tamid. Okay, it discusses the details a little, and then it describes the Nesech, the wine, and says, Venisko de beritahin. The question is, Venisko, it's Nesech. What's it's referring to? Is it referring to the previously stated thing, which would be ben harbaim? Or is it going back to the first one at the Kebes Echad? That's the machloket we're going to see. Um, so and now it tells us to be itahin, the Kebes Echad, for one of them, Haichad. Does that Haichad mean this Echad? Or one of them meaning the last, last one mentioned, right? And then, okay, good. And the next Pasuk says, whatever you did with uh, this one in Pasuk 7, also do with the other one. So now the question is, which one are we learning from which, right? Which, in, which is explicit that tells us that's the Revi'it, and which one is the derived? Uh, so Tanura Banan, Yilmad Shel Shacharit, Mishel Arbit. So the first opinion says that this Pasuk is talking about Shacharit. Sorry, Yilmad Shacharit, Mishel Arbit. That Pasuk is talking about Arbit, right? Pasuk 7 is talking about Arbit. Arbit means Ben, ben Harbaim. There's no, no, there's no Toban Tamid at night. Uh, so this is, since you just mentioned Ben Harbaim, so we're still on Ben Harbaim, and that's what we're talking about. And then, so then we'll learn, since we know that, we'll learn that, oh, the morning must be the same as the afternoon, but the afternoon is the original place. The Biomed, Arbit Michel Shacharit, no, the opposite. We're going to learn the afternoon from the morning. That Pasuk 7 is talking about the morning. Okay. Bishlamad Rabbanan, Haibetamid Shel Ben Harbaim Ketiv. Okay, we understand Rabbanan because since you're already the last pronoun, we're already dealing with the afternoon. We're continuing to talk about the afternoon. So that's the main source. Ela to be my Tama, how does the be learn it? In Pasuk 4, it said, and then now Pasuk 7 says, that's referring to the first one mentioned, which is the Boker. So now we, the main, the, the main place where we learn that you have to bring the Sachim and how much you have to bring is in the Boker, and we learn the afternoon from the morning. That's one that's called Echad. Okay, now the B has a good point, right? It is, it is the number one. Uh, Rabbanan, my Echad, Rabbanan can say, what does one mean? Not the first one that we mentioned before, not the first one we bring in the morning, but rather, the unique one. You bring the, the best animal, right? The, the best lamb that you can find, that's Echad, right? Get the, 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 give me the top, the top uh, sheep. Uh, B, so that's good, right? So Rabbanan is learning a good thing to get, bring the best one. The bee says, I agree, you should always bring the best, uh, the best lamb for the, for the Karban tam, Tamid. But I have another pasuk from Sefer Devarim, where it says, Nidrechem. Nidrechem is the animal, the, the vows. You say, I promise I'm going to bring an animal. You should bring Mibchar, the choice. So I learn it too. Good. Uh, Rabbanan, what is he going to do with that pasuk? Had vechan usrichi. Yeah, that pasuk in Devarim was talking about a vow. That's a voluntary offering. Our pasuk over here about Kebes uh, is talking about an obligatory offering. That's the Korban Tamid. And I need both. You might have thought maybe the obligatory offering, that's when you got to bring the best. But if I'm volunteering, I'm just giving a, a, a present on my own, I could bring you a substandard. You might think that's why the Torah so has to say no, even that way. And if I only had the one in Devarim, I might have thought, okay, when I'm bringing my, my own special one, I have to bring. But I'm bringing the standard, when I bring the regular obligatory, I have to bring it so then I can bring substandard. No, as the Pasuk needs to tell you, both in both cases, you should bring the top quality. So in the end, everybody agrees on all points. They just uh, disagree on how exactly to derive it from the various Pesukim. All right, and now the last part of the Mishnah mentioned if the Kohen Imhen Kohen Gadol Zaken or Istanis, if he was uh, elderly or sick and he can't take the cold, the, the mikveh might be cold um, and he's going to have to dip in it five times and uh, he'll get sick, he won't feel well. So what would they do? So in the Mishnah mentions that they would take some warm water and pour it into the mikveh to make it, uh, to, to, uh, um, uh, make it a little bit warmer. Good. That's what the Mishnah said. The Baraita has another solution. Tanya Amar Biyuda Ashashiyot Shel Barzel Hayu Mechamin Me'arev Hakipurim. 
that they would take blocks of iron and heat them up from before Yom Kippur. O matilin the toch sonen, so they stay hot for a long time, and you take those iron and you put it into the cold mikveh, uh, and that will warm the warm it up uh, much better. So that seems to be a more you know more effective idea. Kedesh tafik sinatan, so to temper its chill. Good, that's what the Brayta says. Question: By doing that, you're smelting the metal, right? You're that this is the process of making metal harder: is that you melt it down and then you throw it into cold water, and that's how it gets that, that's has how, how it gets harder. And so now that's a melacha on Shabbat. You can't do that. No, we don't make it that hot that it's melted like you know molten lead. We just warm it up. It keeps the heat, but it keeps its shape. We're not changing the shape, so it's not hot enough to uh, to make it uh, to make it uh, uh, smelted. It's just a you know, it's just a warm metal. So that's one answer. You can even say we make it hot enough for the smelting process to make it to make it beneficial, but that's not my intention, right? This doesn't mean that it was completely unintentional. Unintentional was like, you know, I tripped over it, I pushed it, I didn't realize I pushed it in. No, I know I'm doing it. I'm taking something, a hot metal that is and putting it into cold water. And I might even know that it's going to help and strengthen the metal, but that's not my goal. My goal is to warm it up because this poor uh, Kohen is, is sick. So, and Damashimit Kaven, Mutar, right? Especially when you have uh, overriding circuits in the Bet Mikdash, you need it for a sick person. So, lots of uh, reasons. So, uh, since that's not my goal, it is Mutar. Okay, so that would be a good answer. Question about that's Abaye that said that. But did Abaye really agree with that principle? Davash emit kaven mutar. We have a place where he says the opposite. besar orlato. The question is, by mol, it could have just said orlato on the eighth day that you do circumcision on the foreskin. What's the flesh of his foreskin? Why do you need that word basar? It's to teach you. Afilu makom sheyesham beheaded yakos. If someone has a beheaded, means a leprous spot. You're not allowed to cut off a leprous spot. You see a leprous spot on your skin somewhere, you're not allowed to cut it off. You gotta show it to a Kohen, you gotta go through the whole process. You can't just chop it off. And so therefore there's a prohibition to cut off any leprous spot. What if a baby uh, or whatever, or anyone, adult, whoever is doing the bit milah has a leprous spot on the foreskin? Now, a baby actually would be, works better, right? Uh, for the baby, now you have to do it on the eighth day. You can't just wait. Right, it's not like if an adult is uh, is uh, converting, whatever. So you have to you have one mitzvah to cut it off. You have a prohibition. You're not allowed to cut it off because there's a beheaded on the foreskin. So what do you do? So the word besar comes to teach you do the bimila anyway, even though you're going to violate the law taseh of cutting it off. This is this override besar or lato Okay, now we analyzed that the halacha one time and we wondered kera lamali. Why do we need the pasuk besar olato? You could have said davar shelo mitkaven mutar. Davar shelo mitkaven. We always learn it in the context of Elchot Shabbat, but it applies in other areas of halacha also. When I'm cutting off this uh, this uh, the foreskin, my intention is to perform brit milah. My intention, my goal, is not to remove the baheret. I don't care about the baheret. Uh, and so uh, this should be It should be mutad even without the pasuk besar lato. So why do I need the pasuk? This is this paraita's opinion of Rabbi Yehuda. And in general, Rabbi Yehuda says davashim mitkaven is prohibited. And since it's prohibited, I would not have known it. That's why I need the pasuk. Okay, now we note that Abaye is the one that's quoting the Biuda. If he's the one that's quoting the Biuda, it sounds like he agrees with the Biuda. And therefore, back to this uh, question, he's the one that says, uh, no, you can throw it in even if it's very hot. Because Davar Shemit Kaven Mutar. Did he really think that? He's the one that says Davar Shemit Kaven Asur. The answer is, you're right. In general, when something's asur midde oraita, he agrees with Rabbi Yehuda and says, asur. But what's the prohibition of hardening metal? 
Um, you, you're not uh, making a kli, right? It's not like you put it into a mold and you're, this is the makebe patish and you know putting it in the cold water and now, now you finished it, right? You're not this is you're not actually making anything. So therefore, just you're just doing part of the process that maybe one day would uh, help the metal. That is only did a banan. So since seruf in the, this way is only did a banan in the first place, so we can combine even according to the biuda, we can combine the drabanan with the vashemit kaven, and therefore it is permitted completely. And uh, since we're talking about uh, 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 smelting, you know, this is appropriate for the theme of uh, Shavuot coming up because uh, 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 the Midrash says that Moshe Rabbeinu got, uh, which opinion did he receive? This one that says allowed or not allowed. So he received all the opinions, why? So that we would go and, uh, and, 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 and uh, argue each opinion against each other. And that just like, in, just like when you smelt something, you heat it up, when you have a heated argument, it actually is better because then you uh, you uh, actually uh, uh, um, are able to purify and and uh, and deepen your understanding of the Torah. So the and the midrash compares the argument of Torah to smelting, even though you know so you get a heated argument, but in the end you have a stronger understanding of what it is uh, of what it is, and so that's uh, appropriate to. Uh, uh, learn a halacha about smelting right before Shavuot. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen ve'amen. We'll leave that as the next Mishnah, but we'll leave it till tomorrow since it's going to continue into the next stuff.